And I think for some of you, you might not know this too well, so I'll, I'll explain what the map is. And I've been training a little bit for it for the USA Cup. Not a massive fan of it, honestly, but we'll see. So, uh, game number six is Rocky Forest. And we have Jordan in the blue playing as the Aztecs, a save that I know he loves here. And then he's up against Doubt, who has gone for the Mongols. Now, we're catching up to live time. Rocky Force is probably a new one for most of the people watching, so I'll kind of break this down. Um, you cannot place lumber camps right up against the wood line in the Rocky Forest area. It's self-explanatory, right? You cannot build in this terrain, which means that walling is difficult, too. You can't wall like this. You'd have to wall it kind of in a circle in front of your base, which is awkward. Uh, the gold is, for the most part, in the center... And there's lots of berries and other crazy stuff around the outer ring. So you basically got some stone, some golden berries, and some wood around the outer ring, but eventually you need to push to, towards the forest. Now in the middle, there's Hunt, which is, I think, why Doubt chose Mongols. But Jordan is keeping a close eye on this scout, and he really wants to know if Doubt is going to do anything wacky out here. Um, as far as the Civ matchup goes, I think that both Civs can be dominant. It just depends on if Mongols can get a lead. Mongols tend to... Wait, man, how far behind are we? Sorry, this is really fast in Dark Age. It should be there soon, but... The um, thing is, Mongols tend to have a lead to Feudal Age because of the, the hunt bonus they have. So they bring in the food even just from the boars. But I don't know how realistic it's going to be for Doubt to take map control and take the hunt. In my training, uh, the best civs for this would be like Franks, Bulgarians, Aztecs. Uh, and okay, there we go. And Mongols just seem like too much of a risk for me. But, you know, Doubt's a risk taker. So, and here comes Jordan. Jordan already walling. He's experienced here. He won the German championship where this map was, I think, debuted. He'll be sending Militia out soon. Uh, hey, T90, do you think you will be hosting AOE4 a lot? Um, I think it depends on how good the game is. A lot of people are asking me about AOE4. I could see it being a flavor of the week kind of game, or I could maybe see it being something that I do mixed in with Age of Empires 2 content. I don't truly expect it's ever going to replace Age of Empires 2 for me. I feel like it might be realistic that I, I do tournaments for AB4, but I don't like do a lot of like other content with it. So we'll see. We will find out. Wasn't this map in Red Bull Wallolo 2? Um, it might have been. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the big things I remember is that it, it's in USA Cup, and then it was in the German Championship as well. All right, so Dow making Militia. Dow, I think, spotted exactly what Jordan was going to go for here. He's like, okay, he's going fast castle. But I feel like this just suits Aztecs, does it not? Dow can't take the middle of the map. Aztecs start with more gold so they can make more Militia. Doubt playing reactive here. Also, the Eagle is stronger than the Scout in Dark Age as both players will fight. And in terms of the engagement, it's looking better for Jordan so far. Better for Jordan because he's got the Eagle in there. That's why I say that. The Eagle has four attack. The Scout has three. And Jordan doing a good job. Doubt. Uh, well, Doubt Scout can't fight that now. So, yeah, Jordan, while well, he can't truly chase this forever, and he might make a mistake. Okay. Doubt wins. As I said, Doubt was winning the entire time. No doubt that Doubt was going to win, and Doubt now has the scalp. Now, that is a big mistake from Jordan. That is a big mistake. Look at the response from Doubt. He knows that Jordan won't know when he's out here. And if you look at Jordan's scouting, Jordan has seen a lot of this, but there are areas where maybe he won't see the deer are killed off. And he's actually responding by making an additional militia. But, you know, if that eagle's out there, you could scout what was going on and adapt to it a little bit. And the scout and the militia are just passing now. Now, I suppose you could use the militia to kill the deer. Doubt is on his way to feudal age, but I don't think Doubt will ever pull off a fast castle. Um, not, not with this time. So who knows what his follow-up is. Unless he goes for some crazy, crazy greedy play with a market. He's sending five to gold, which is a little untypical. I am so hungry right now. I know you guys don't need this in your lives. Many of you guys are probably eating like a warm meal while listening to me. 
And then right after you finish stuffing your face with food, you're going to take a nap. And I'm so jealous of you. But I, um, yeah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. It's, uh, it's almost noon. We don't really have any substantial food in the house besides leftover birthday cake from my girlfriend. Which, by the way, so I'm kind of proud of myself on this one. So I'll tell you guys. Basically, um, she turned 25. And the only notable thing that you can do when you're 25 that you couldn't do when you're 24, uh, in the States at least, is rent a car. And so... <laughs> as Doubt's going to try and kill the deer with the villagers. That's funny, man. Since he killed it with the villagers, he can still eat it. A great reaction from him. So I, um, I had our cats photoshopped into uh, a McLaren and then I had that image put onto a birthday cake. <laughs> this is literally both of our cats driving or in the one driving one passenger in a car <laughs> and then I gave her the cake and she immediately was like like a small part of her thought that I rented her a McLaren. <laughs> like I re immediately realized my mistake. I was like oh god she's gonna think that there's a McLaren outside, which is definitely not the case. <laughs> I was like, just so you know, I don't have a car for you outside. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God, that would have been a disaster. Well, down with this, this is a crazy YOLO build, and I really like it, actually. Because I think in the mid-game, Mongols don't really have a lot going for them. They don't have great monks. Their knights and camels don't translate too well later on into the game. But if you can get up really fast and maybe turn this into some crazy like, Cav Archer siege play, Jordan could potentially be in trouble. The farming eco is really all you need to look at to see the difference. Jordan's got crazy farms. That's going to last him throughout mid-game. That's got one farm. And, uh, whoa, you can place a lumber camp there? What it? I guess there's only a one tile gap. Um, but yeah, I think Doubt's going to go YOLO out here. Now, he has killed off the militia, so he can still have four villagers out here hunting. Almost looks like he just made the archer for the militia, and now he will go cav archers. Using that scout to see that Jordan is now making a tower. You know, I kind of take it back. I'm curious to see how Dao transitions this, but he could actually turn this into a bit of a boom at some point. Get a lead with cav archers. Jordan now can't make a second TC because he's been forced into a tower. So harass Jordan and then, you know, find a nice little position for a TC and get cozy and boomy at home. Mm. <laughs> so that's where the Hidden Come 4 subs are going? Yeah, exactly. Right to the, uh, right to the cake fund. Right to the McLaren fund. But no, I, um, you know, I asked my buddy Hardy, who did a lot of the, a lot of videos for this channel over the years. I asked him to make it. Because I needed to send it over to the cake place. And he was like, well, what's her dream car? I was like, I should I know this? I, I think it's a McLaren. I don't know. What if I just like photoshopped the cats into a 2001 Ford Focus station wagon? <laughs> oh. Like just some random car. Not trying to offend people who might have that car. Jay? Not sure it would have had the same effect. All right, so patience from Jordan here is there's only one archer. Dal going for cav archers. Now, what have I been saying about freaking cav archers ever since Red Bull Wolo 3? They can work really well if you're in Castle Age faster. Too many people are trying to go for them when they're already behind in games. If you have time to switch into something like this, it can be really effective. And Dal noticed that Jordan was coming out here with the crossbows. He's adding a third range. Now, will he have enough CA to fight these crossbows for now? He's still lacking bloodlines. Villager's going to need to run, and she does. And Jordan, close to getting a pickoff, but also awkward for him at home. Very YOLO, all-in-ish type game as that will pounce. Now, Mongol cav archers do fire faster. As you can see, that still does not mean it's very fast compared to crossbows. <laughs> Which is why people are like, cav archers suck. We don't like cav archers. No cav archers. There's not a place for cav archers. I think this could have been way better from Dal. Like, honestly. Like, ugh. it is clunky, though. I mean, these units are just, as you're seeing it now, Jordan's micro has been top tier, too. It's just real clunky in low numbers. 
I personally think Doubt should have gotten two range Cav Archers and then gone for a Siege Workshop. I think it's a big mistake to not have Scorpion out. Because if he goes... If he had the Siege Workshop in the first place, he'd have a Scorpion already. And then he'd have his Cav Archer numbers. And then Jordan would be pushed back. So I think that that might be a moment we look back at. The thing about CA is you need so much to make them strong, right? You need the numbers. You also need Bloodlines. Thronebringer eventually. Well, Doubt, again, can't make the Siege Workshop. I don't know why he would make it there. Definitely falling behind a little bit now. And Jordan, I think, will be happy to see the Siege Workshop will not go up because he knows how good the, the crossbows have been for him so far as he gets his own Siege Workshop. Now, I think he should go for Scorpions. Look at Jordan's micro, man. Jordan's micro is so good. Using the, the range. Realizing there's no ballistics. At home, there's there's no economy. Remember, Doubt's economy is is this full YOLO right now. As he goes in here to gauge against these <laughs> these cav archers, and it's just considering crossbows are so cheap, this KD looks pretty brutal for Doubt right now. And he also doesn't have a workshop. Jordan does, but he hasn't produced out of it yet. To be fair, Jordan's eco is also kind of a mess right now. Uh, it's not like it's not like he's sitting pretty at home booming or anything. Hit and run with the crossbows. Hit and run with the crossbows. Hit and run with the crossbows. Still having success here, but he actually, I think, hard to say, but I think Jordan made a mistake there because he got tempted to hit the vills here, and in that moment, Dal was able to get a few kills. I think it's really important that you just kind of be happy that you delayed it, but have your own siege. He doesn't have his own siege yet. That could be a problem. This is like, um, hmm, trying to find a comparison here. Having a siege workshop but not using it is like, yeah, um, it's like having a Twitch Prime sub available but not clicking the button. It's a waste. It's a complete waste. It's free. You have a workshop right there. Just click it. Just click it. That's the best sell I've ever done. If I don't get at least one right now. If I don't get at least one, I'm going to be so disappointed. I, that was not part of the plan. Thank you, MCL. Thank you, MCL. Thank you for using your Siege Workshop. Thank you, guys. Twitch Prime, I think it was. It's free. Jeez, I need to do that more frequently, man. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, Dow has the more... Uh, he has a lot more potential to shock and all with this. And I think now Jordan has fallen back. And now that it's Maganel CA, Maganel CA is so much stronger than Crossbow Elite Skirm and eventual Maganel for Jordan. So Doubt's still taking some hunts in the middle. And he's going to have the, uh, as we see, the split micro from Jordan. This is beautiful. He is adding a second town center at home. But will he be able to get kills here? Or will he just be left with one Maganel because of Jordan's micro? The, the Maganel does get a headshot for Doubt. I, I think this is fine for Doubt. This is fine, man. He's gotten a lot of kills here. Killing a villager now. He's also delaying Jordan. Jordan is at the limit right now. I think ultimately as more villagers go down. My goodness. Um. Oh, Doubt. Get a one for one here. And you'll be... Oh! Oh! Oh, got it with the Cav Archer. Great play there. Because otherwise that would have hurt. But I think he'll be relatively happy with this because he can just make more military in the middle. Keep control of the middle. <gasps> oh my god. Jordan has looped the whole way around and Dow would never, ever, ever expect this. Jordan went around the left side with those. Oh my god, what a play. What a play, dude. Oh, geez, that's, that's brilliant from Jordan. That hurts to see, too, if you're down. And now, of course, he's distracted. So he's gone forward with a Maganel, which is going to go down to a tower. Something he'll have to recognize here and try and get some value from. Nope, nothing. And now we have now we have a game, right? Um, not that we didn't before, but it kind of looked like Doubt was going to have a big lead. Now it's very even. 60 villagers, or 60 pop against 56 right now. 
And the big thing I'm remembering is Doubt has the transition into farms. Nice farm, by the way, Doubt. He's on three TCs. He doesn't have the food income to produce out of three TCs. And he still has so much control of the middle. There are still some villagers out here bringing in the hunt. And Cav Archers still seem superior to the Crossbowmen at this stage of the game. Still no Ballistics. Yeah, it's just so much investment to also get the University. Normally, players decide between going for University or Siege Workshop. In this case, they both went Siege Workshop, so... Makes sense they wouldn't have Ballistics now. It's better to just have the Siege. Jordan gets a great shot there. And actually, he's been using the Skirms against the Cav Archers and trying to avoid this Maganel. Now, Doubt could do the same exact thing to Jordan. So Jordan has to be careful. Doubt could loop the Cav Archers around. And one for ones. Doubt, I think, researched Elite Skirm or he had his own Elite Skirm. I don't know. But no, if you saw this, Doubt's actually just Mining Stone. He's not actually... Uh, he is not looping an army around. He just brought the Cav Archers right to the middle. Think of anything. Like getting Bloodlines would be really important here for Doubt. Looking at Jordan's eco, it's very healthy one town center eco. I know he doesn't have the vill count, but he's just now going to a second TC, and I feel like Doubt's transitions has been... Um, I'm thinking of some really weird real-life comparisons, but going to three TCs when you only have six farms is like... It's like saying I love you after the second date. I think it's a little too early, you know? You might eventually have great eco... But you don't have to say I love you that early. That just that just scares people off. And then everything's going to be awkward in your transition. As Jordan is in again! Again! Oh, Doubt's got to be so frustrated with this. He's in again to the gold. Someone just said they love me. It's too early. It's too early, chat. And, and now, like, you've said all these kind words. But your eco's a disaster. Oh, big shot in the middle, maybe? Nothing really here. Okay. Okay, good shots. Jordan could micro that down, though. The Skirms have full armor, so they would tank, but there's not many left. And yeah, Dad will be okay with that. Not this. Dad will hate this. But then, actually, if you look at Jordan's food eco, now his food eco is kind of all over the place, and he has to get his eco back on track. I think this is going to be the game of the doubt. He knows this, right? He does. His production buildings are forward. That's what's so crazy about this. Is norm with a normal strategy, someone could deal with this right away. But because he made his archer ranges forward, it takes him forever to get back to deal with it. But yeah, he arrives now. Uh, Jordan will lose his crossbows, but great value again. And I think so far, this is the best game of the best of 21 for me. Um, I don't want to speak too soon here, but it's been fun. Hmm. What about 29 months? Uh, 29 months, I'll take you. Thank you, Kill Memento. <laughs> Third TC for Jordan over here. Uh, there are relics to, to look for if you're Jordan. I think he's got a monastery out, so start to get those if you're Aztecs, I'd say. Remember, this is the stage of the game where I said Aztecs probably the better Civ. I think even early Imp Aztecs are the better Civ. The stage of Mongols getting to Hussars and Elite Mangadai is where I think Mongols could be considered better. Now, took advantage of the hunt, still is taking advantage of the hunt, but is he going to have control of the middle where all this extra gold is? Looks like Jordan's going to take control of that now. And Doubt says, well, that was that was a real fine thing you did there. I'm going to counterattack now. That was a great idea. That's probably not what Doubt said. It's not how he said it anyways, but that's his basic thought process. Jordan, having done that, should realize he's exposed over here. And he reacts to it really nicely. Uh, now we'll have to pull some elite skirms back, but I think that's realistic for him. He's got his ranges at home. Doubt having to make a siege workshop at his base right now shows you how awkward it is. <gasps> oh, what a big boy play from Jordan. This is so cool. I actually love this. Now it's risky, and I know Jordan isn't seen as a high risk player. You could easily just castle the middle, but I think that. This castle is even more successful than castling the middle. Also a lot riskier if Doubt has Maganels. And Doubt will have one. And Jordan's going to lose one to a town center. Because he's reacting to this. Oh boy. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh no! Don't tell me! Okay, Jordan needs to take out that Maganel. Okay, he has, he has to repair that. He does. Now the villagers that are repairing are over the castle foundation. Okay, Jordan is fine. It was a bit dicey, but Jordan is fine. Meanwhile, Doubt's in the back of Jordan's base. Jordan is house walled it off. And he's killing all the cav archers. Doubt in big trouble. And Doubt's gonna drop his own castle here. Yeah, but it's not gonna stop Jordan's castle. Here you have good micro from both with the Maganels. Jordan used the skirms to weaken that weak Maganel, and he's repairing. So he'll get villager kills, giving him the eco lead, and this castle is in range of two town centers. Doubt's had to abandon a bunch of farms. 27 military for zero. Doubt is in big trouble. And guys, he is going to try and ram this down because he knows how bad that is. But if Jordan is thinking about it, he'll just add him two Maganels here and the Rams will never work. Let's see. Is he doing that? Like pretty much at this point, I feel like Jordan, he has the game in the bag now. The only thing would be a massive throw if he were to lose his castle and a bunch of other things. Simply just need two Maganels behind and a Ram push will never work. Jordan, uh, how many relics does he have now? Three relics with Aztecs, 33% more gold per relic. By the way, I talked to you guys about um, about how I played some games with Jordan. So basically, I was playing games uh, on this map and some others because it's also in the USA Cup. And I basically just wanted to get absolutely destroyed so I could learn. Uh, and I went in feeling pretty good about my day, and I left feeling horrible about my day because Jordan did destroy me uh, to levels I did not really expect. But anyway, so Jordan and I were playing... And we did, like, Franks versus Aztecs, and he was Franks. And I was like, wow, I feel like Franks are the best Civ on this. There's just nothing I could have done. And Jordan's like, okay, let me be Aztecs. <laughs> and, then, and then there was nothing I could do against Aztecs. And I was like, hmm, I feel like this has a lot to do with the gameplay and not necessarily the civilization. <laughs> um... He was like, yeah, T90, I think you're right on that. I'm like, oh, thanks, Jordan. He also lamed me 90 seconds into that game. I'm a little salty about that, but I guess it's training after all. I don't think Jordan need... It was a mistake for him not to have the Maganels behind. But I don't think... Okay, he probably assumes that Doubt might be up to Imp or something, but I don't think he needs to YOLO to try and save this. He's using Petards against Rams right now. Is he going to save this? Oh my god. All right. Well, I mean, back to my point earlier, if you had the ran the Maganels there in the first place, it wouldn't get down this low. But he's actually going to keep that up. And that means he can make Trebs pretty soon. Uh, Doubt going to send Magadai over here. That is your go-to unit in Imp for, for uh, Mongols. But he's also getting hit over here. And just, while this Vil count is good, he's just going to be way behind in position. If this castle gets treb down, then you can't make Megadai anymore, and then I don't know what you do in the matchup. Very impressive from Jordan. It was a little late, right? And he's, he's lost villagers to keep this up. But I'm still very impressed that he was able to keep it up. The Batard play is very unique. I've, I've definitely seen it before against Rams, but it wasn't part of his initial plan. And, yep, Doubt just calls GG. Yeah, the, Doubt knows. Now that the castle's up... The Doubt's eco is going to get trebbed down. He wouldn't have the time. Jordan would have elite skirms. And uh, also Jordan has great economy. He has all the gold in the middle too. Something that Doubt was going to run out of. He didn't have too much long term. And This was an incredible game to tie up this best of 21. Because from what I, from what I saw, Doubt had the lead. And then Jordan's counterattacks won him the game. I mean, granted, I, I talked about Doubt's transitions being pretty poor, but he was pretty far ahead, right? He had the ranges, he had the workshop, he was pressuring. I still think it was a mistake from Doubt to not go... I think he should have gone two archery ranges and then the workshop, as opposed to three ranges and then delaying the workshop. That could have been so much stronger for him. Um, Easy to say now, of course, but my goodness, those counters. There were, I wish I would have bookmarked it here with Capture Age Pro, but... Uh, I want to say about 15 villagers went down to the two groups of five crossbows that Jordan sent out across the map. And maybe 
that comes back to experience on Jordan's part Thank because goodness. he's played this map a lot uh, in the German Championships, but still. All right. Uh, I guess we should look at this, actually. I'm curious what the economy difference looked like. Yeah, Jordan with more wood, food, gold, and stone. That was only going to climb. He was only going to treb Doubt down. So it was probably a good time for Doubt to tap out there. Um, the KD was a pretty close game, right? That's exactly what you'd expect to result from that game. But we'll move on to the final game of the first day of this best of 21. Uh, and the score is 3-3. Three to three. So uh, maybe this best of 21 is going to go down to the final game when it's all said and done. Yeah, Omar, it's a good point. Like, Dal having experience with the Red Bull map, Jordan having some experience with that map. I think, like, the settings, though, having an additional Empire Wars as far as settings goes is a little different than the map, but scores 3-3. Three, three. have no complaints there. 